Hi guys, so I'm gonna be filming um, another one of like my watch this if you're really bored sort of tutorials um, I know you guys enjoy these videos a lot um, My last like long makeup tour it was kind of like a chit chat and it wasn't a tutorial because I didn't tell you guys what I was using at all um, I just kind of got ready with you guys and answered some questions Which I will answer some of your questions that you guys sent in last time at the end of this video But I'm just gonna do my makeup with you guys and talk to you guys for now um, I already have my brows done and I use my Benefit Cup brow to do my brows. This stuff is so good. Um, and then I cleaned them up with some foundation and some concealer. But I feel like my brows literally came out bomb, you guys. Like, they look so saucy, glossy. Um, and to prime my face, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox um, primerizer. This stuff is so good. Um, well, as, like, from what I've been noticing when I've been trying it if that makes sense because I literally this is my second time using it um, but so far so good I mean I like it because I love the formula of it and I don't know it just it's super hydrating and oh crap I have another pimple oh I don't know what the hell's breaking me out it's okay we'll go over that we'll work around it um but it's super hydrating and I love the way it feels on my skin um, and it is kind of like a little bit more like more of like a tacky primer. Oh, also, I know my setup is weird, but it's because it's just more chill bag. Um, I know you guys, I don't know why, but you guys like it when like I'm like not organized. Like I don't know why um, you guys do, but you guys really like it when I'm not organized or when my videos aren't as organized. I don't know why. Um, but you guys have even told me like, oh, I like when you film at your window with you, like not your re regular setup or whatever. Um but i am filming in front of a window it's just not my window i'm filming in daniel's room he's taking a nap so i thought i would film this because i have to get ready um today i'm gonna go get my lip injections um i'm super excited i think i think after this um i don't think i'm gonna get any more just because i feel like i'll be good by then like my lips look they look good now but i don't know what it is my lips they get like i don't know some sometimes they look good and then they like shrivel up and like die or something because then oh, oh i packed this thing full of my um of some of my makeup that i needed because i knew i was gonna see at daniel's last night but i forgot setting spray oh i mean it's okay but it sucks because i always use setting spray um i'm going in with my la girl foundation I really like this stuff too and it has no flashback and it's really affordable you guys like really really affordable last time when I answered you guys' questions I didn't get to answer everyone's question just because there was a lot of questions and like a lot of um, a lot of you guys asking for advice so I'm gonna finish answering some of those questions today because I really want to get to answer everyone's question what the heck Ooh, I feel like I have wrinkles right here. This lighting kind of got bad. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just I feel like since since I'm doing it in front of like natural, since I'm doing it in natural lighting in front of a window, the sun keeps like going in and out. It's crazy, dog, because you get a nigga this emotion that I thought ain't even existing a nigga no more. See, like I don't even want to be if I can't be with you. I don't want to live. I'm honestly a little salty about my setting spray, but it's all good. Um, I like filming these tutorials for you guys, like these long like tutorials where I talk to you guys and stuff. It's just a little bit hard to for me to do it because when I'm at my house, like I have a like, like I have a big family, you know, and they never shut up. Like they never shut up. So that's why lately I've been filming more. Um, like voiceovers like I, i'm they're still tutorials and i feel like i've kind of like um gotten my voiceovers down like before my voiceover was like i used to like i used to do like the editing first and then do the voiceover last so i would find myself like not having enough time and i would speed talk i would be like okay and then you're gonna blend this and, blah, 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 blah. and then people would be like girl slow down like some people use you as a guide but i just couldn't figure out how to um how to like get it right or how to edit my makeup tutorials when i did the voiceovers um but i feel like i finally have that down and then i literally am using one of these little like crappy mirrors to do my makeup but it's the only thing that daniel had i thought i had forgotten my um shape tape and i was about to get so salty 
Oh my god, why don't my pimples go away? I've been getting so many pimples lately. Okay. I'm so happy because yesterday I got my Benefit Club Pink um, email saying that I got in and I got accepted to the Club Pink. And I'm so freaking excited, you guys. Like, I was so, like, because, that like, literally I was just thinking, like, that day that when I got, like, when I got the acceptance email, I was just like, oh, like, it's okay, maybe next time. Because I was losing hope because, I, like, I don't know, I just hadn't gotten the email. So I was like, it's okay, I thought I lost. But thank God, like, I'm so happy, you guys. Um... But by the time you guys are watching this video, I probably have already talked about it and let you guys know what happened. Um, or like that I got in. Also, um, my LA Girl Foundation, it is in the shade Nude Beige. You guys have asked before. But yeah, that's just in the shade Nude Beige. And I'm going in with my Fit Me Concealer. In the shade 20. I'm doing more so like more simple makeup. Like I'm not doing any cream contouring or anything. Um, just because I didn't feel like doing... I didn't feel like packing all of my makeup to do a super glam look. Like, it's still going to be glam, but it's going to be more, like, simple glam. Um, and then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. Um, but yeah, um, what was I talking about? I feel like I lose my train of thought a lot. Oh yeah, I'm not doing any, like, eyeshadow or anything because I didn't want to pack a whole bunch of makeup. Even though I did pack a whole bunch of makeup, but I didn't pack a lot, you know? I just packed, like, basics. Basic stuff that I need to do, like, a simple glam look, but, like, still glam, you know? Um. But since I'm not doing any eyeshadow, I was like, eh, I'll just focus more so on the face. But I'm not gonna do any clean contouring because... I don't know. I just... I like this foundation on its own, and like I said, it's going to be more simple makeup, so I was like, it's kind of pointless to do cream contour, even though I love the way cream contour looks, but it's okay. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do my under eyes. I probably won't talk when I blend this out, because it's a little bit hard to talk. Oh my god, my skin is like a little, kind of breaking out. I hate saying that, but, because you guys can't really see my pimples, but I can see them, like... Um, like right there is another little one, but it's okay. It'll get better. Um, and I've been trying out the Muddy Body more, and I've, I've been liking it more. The first time I used it, um, like, it does make my skin super soft, though, but the first time that I had used it, guys, like, I got, like, a hive, and, like, I don't know. I don't know if my skin was just, like, not prepared for the intensity of that mask. Um, oh my god, I feel like the lighting got so dark. Okay, I'm gonna blow this out. Of my intuition, anything I want, I speak into existence. That's how I'm living, that's how I'm winning. And then also lately, I've been using less powder and I've been loving the look of it. Like, I'm still baking in some areas, but um, I'm using a little bit less powder. And I just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I just really like it. I'm going in with my Laura Mercier now. Um, I think I'm gonna put some on my eyelids first because I did, um, Add some of that concealer on my eyelids as well. Um, I don't think I brought a brush for that. Okay. I set my... I feel like this lighting is so bad, you guys. I'm going to try to open this up a little more. I don't know if that makes a difference. Probably not. But it's worth a try. I'll probably move you guys a little too. Oh my god, there's something in my contacts. I hate wearing contacts, honestly. I'm just so blind that I need them. Yeah, that didn't make a difference at all. Okay, I'm gonna set my chin, my smile lines. I'm still gonna bake, just um, this, like I'm grabbing a little bit of powder and I'm patting it, like I'm patting it down. On my nose. I'm gonna try to snatch my nose, but I probably... I don't know, I, when I snatch, snatch my nose and I go in on my nose, I like to cream contour it and like do everything pretty much. Okay, let's set the forehead. Um, just gonna blend this out really quickly. So I have my Starbucks. I try to drink it fast because I don't know. I don't know why, 
but Starbucks coffee like burns my throat. I don't know why it does that. Um, okay, and then oh, I forgot my big powder brush. Are you kidding me? Um, and then I'm going to um do my smile lines. No, I need to make an eyebrow routine. There's so many videos that I want to film. I just haven't had the time to. You would think that because I don't actually have like a real job that I have to go into that I would have so much time on my hands. But literally my days go by like that. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'm going to go in with... Oh, I need to sneeze. <laughs> burning my throat okay i'm going in with my Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer it's one of my favorites um and i'm gonna contour my nose with this i'll kind of talk you guys through it but this isn't really how i contour my nose um i use so many like different steps to contour my nose like when i actually want to contour it but i'm taking this little brush this is an amorphe m139 and this is what i actually do use and i'm just pinching it down a little bit and i'm just gonna go in and i like to go like right there and as I bring it upwards I'm kind of blending it outwards I'm not making a straight line going upwards all the way just like that and I'm bringing it down here same thing on the other side babe someone's calling you babe it's kind of getting cloudy outside so I feel like that's why the lighting's a little bit bad too Oy. my contacts are dry what I love you too. Um, I feel like this lighting is so bad, guys. Like, I kind of don't want to film this video anymore. Um, it's okay, though. I'm sure you guys will still enjoy it, right? Um, I'm going to go in with that same Too Faced bronzer. And I'm going to go in and, like, kind of use this to carve out my face. Putting it at my cheekbones. At the top. And then blending it outwards. Or, like, blending it out. And I'm blending it upwards. I feel like when I film like this, you guys like it because it feels like more chilled back, you know? Doesn't like all professional and stuff. Ooh, girl. This bronzer is so good, guys. I can't. Um, I really want to try the Buxom bronzer. I've had it sitting in my drawer for like ever. I just haven't um, tried it out. Putting some on my forehead as well, covering that big pimple, but it's not going to cover it, so it's okay. I don't really care that much. Now I'm going to take some more powder and I'm going to bake in the areas where I want like um, it to be more defined or a little more brightened. So I'm going to go on the sides of my nose like that. And I also want to bake a little bit under my eyes. Oh my god, my contacts are so dry. So I'm going in with a little powder in the beginning just like we did earlier but then I'm going to bake in the areas that I want more like I don't know I feel like baking just kind of helps me define everything a little more just like that we'll bake um right there maybe a little bit on my chin and then I'm going to bake a little bit under my contour And then while this, I was going to go on camera like to let this sit for a couple minutes, but I'll go on my Instagram and I'll answer another like Q question from the Q&A or like whatever advice or whatever you guys want. It's like burning my throat. Okay, did you guys see that spit right there? I'm so sorry. Hi Liz, I know there's a slight chance that you will be reading this. I'm reading it girl. Um, but I was just trying to get some tips and where to even start for YouTube. It's always something I have wanted to do but never had the courage. I love watching your videos and want to tell you to never stop. Oh, thank you. Keep up the good work. Um, thank you so much. Um, and just start dude like if you like this goes to anyone like especially to you because you asked the question but this goes to anyone you need to start like somewhere everyone starts somewhere you know um and you see all these big youtubers like a lot of them started like filming videos on like their their macbook or like ipads and stuff like i like i know i'm not like up there there yet but like i feel like i find like this year i feel like my foot is finally in the door like i feel like 
I feel like I've worked so hard and, my, and like I finally have my foot in the door. And I feel like these like next years will be my years. Like I'm gonna work so hard to get like everything I want to get and every, everything I want to do. Um, so I'm gonna work hard to accomplish like a lot of my goals these next two years coming up. Um, but like I said, like you need to start somewhere. Um, if you've been thinking about doing it, just start, dude. Um, I know people get discouraged. Like I know like a lot of people get discouraged because they'll start YouTubes and it gets no subscribers or no views. But it's just the way it goes. You know, it happens like that. And if you're gonna start a YouTube, don't go in thinking, oh, I'm starting this. I'm gonna get famous. I'm gonna make money la la money 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 um just start if i would say just don't start for the wrong reasons like start youtube because you enjoy doing videos making videos you enjoy what kind of videos you're gonna be filming um like for me um i feel like the biggest like not challenge is like a lot of um a lot of companies want you to be a certain like way like a lot of companies like and i know that's like one of the biggest reasons why i haven't gotten on like a lot of the big big brands pr list like i'm, I'm on like some big brands pr list and i'm like obviously i get pr but i don't get like like there's people that get so much pr and it's just I'm not gonna change because a lot of brands literally want your make your want your channel to be strictly like what they stand for. Like if um like a lot of brands want you to your channel to be strictly makeup if they're like a makeup brand, you know. And I'm not gonna do that. I enjoy making vlogs. I enjoy doing other stuff. So I'm gonna continue doing that. If along the way a brand recognizes me and wants to put me on their PR list or wants to work with me, then like awesome, you know. Like I'm so grateful. But if not, then I'm just gonna continue to do what I want to do. Um, but. That's my biggest advice. Just start, dude. Um, whatever you have to film, film on your phone and upload videos from there. You can even edit on your phone and just upload. Be yourself because that's what people want to see. Um, and just start. You gotta start somewhere. That's like my biggest thing. And my, uh, my also another big advice like that I can give you is don't get discouraged. Um, just do start because you want to do it if you get no views you get no subscribers keep working hard and, and it's gonna work it's gonna pay off hey liz my name is madison i saw your recent youtube video po youtube post about advice and i missed when you asked us to dm uh, you for any advice i'm late um i'm still putting your your question in the video however it would be helpful for me to helpful for me to get your opinion so i'm a junior in high school this year and will be graduating early next year congrats um congrats my family is deciding to move to a different state and expects me to attend college there and live with them however i'm currently in a relationship that has lasted two great years my boyfriend and i have a plan that we don't typically typically talk about because my family puts me down and i think i won't do anything in life the plan is basically for me to stay here with him and they move without me my thing is everyone has to grow up at some point and I'm honestly not ready to move in the next year. I'm not good at school and don't want to go to college because college just isn't for everyone. I actually want to pursue makeup and start my own YouTube eventually because I would love to show people what I'm capable of. What I'm asking is how do you think I should take on my situation and how would you tell your parents that you want to stay here and that you don't want to go to college. I just don't want to be a disappointment but I do have a dream and I want to be different you know. Sorry it's a lot haha but I really do appreciate you and I would love to hear back from you on how you would deal with this i'm a very emotional person and it's hard for me to open up but it makes me comfortable opening up to you well thank you for opening up to me and thank you but um honestly just tell them straight up don't let the time pass and then the day that they're gonna move or like closer to when they're gonna move you just tell them out of nowhere like you need to let them know now if that's if you have your mindset on that is what you want to do then do it but uh, the other thing that I do want to talk about is I wouldn't say, um, if yeah, college isn't for everyone. Um, I do believe education is important, but I don't think anyone should be forced to go to college because that's how people drop out. You know, like that's like, I don't want to go just because like me personally, I'm not going and I don't know if I will go back though. Like you never know if one day I will go back, but for now I'm not going and like probably for like ever I'm not going to go because it's just call it like you said college isn't for everyone but you also need to let your family know that you know um i don't know how you guys um how you, you and your family are like how you guys get along and stuff but i would let them know late, b better better now like they say better late than never but no better now than late um and i would say don't not go to school just because you want to do youtube and want to pursue a career in youtube because i don't think um it's smart to think um like i don't want to bring you down or anything like i don't want to bring your dreams down like it's possible you could do whatever you want and whatever you set your mind to but 
I don't think that you should think I'm not gonna go to college because I'm gonna pursue a career in YouTube like girl YouTube like it's hard because everyone is out here trying to do it and also um it's hard because you're gonna start and it takes time like there is some people that like blow up like right away and like it, it would be awesome if you started and you could blow up right away but it's hard usually most of the in most cases like you have to work your way up and stuff and I don't know it just can be a lot and it can be really overwhelming and i wouldn't want you to not go to school thinking you're gonna do youtube for the rest of your life and then start youtube and then it takes forever to get subscribers because that, that's how it is girl and it like it's it sucks but like that's the way it is you have to like get people to like you have to build a relationship with people like on the internet and i don't know i feel like i'm getting too into this but start your youtube start it now um, and then see how it goes from there if you don't want to go to college um, Don't go to college get a job start your YouTube, but don't go in with a mindset of I want to do I'm gonna I'm not gonna go to school because I'm gonna do YouTube for the rest of my life No, if you don't want to go to school because you don't think it's for you then don't um but I would say get a job and then in the meantime you could do YouTube and if eventually like if it's meant to be and you like blow the hell up on YouTube then awesome you know um, and and if not like I'll always have like a plan B you know to like fall back if anything um, but I would say um, and I oh, oh another thing too is I wouldn't say don't go with your family just because you have your boyfriend and don't not go with your family because of your boyfriend um, like I said I don't know exactly your situation but just make sure that you're not staying back just because of your boyfriend make sure you're staying back because you truly don't want to leave and you have i know you have your life there so it's hard like i probably wouldn't want to leave out of state either especially if you're um if you're gonna be 18 already you can get your shit together and you can get your own place and just you're gonna have to work hard to like you know be on your own if you've never been on your own but if you don't want to leave, I would say let your family now, let your family know now before it's too late, you know? I'll answer another question before I wipe this off. Um, or probably another, like a couple more questions. Can you give me tips slash advice on how you guys keep your relationship so healthy and happy? Please, I've been with my boyfriend for one year and it's literally been an obstacle for us. We break up, then get back, then same thing all over again. He's always the one breaking up with me. I am just so tired of going back and forth with him. I just want us to be a stable, happy couple like you guys. I love watching your guys' channel. You guys make me feel so happy and make me wish for that happiness y'all have. Sorry to bother. No, girl, you're not bothering me at all. Um... Honestly, there's a lot of couples that break up and go back together. Like, you see those couples that are like, oh, a six-year anniversary, except we broke up, like, 20 times. Um, and I'm sorry that you're going through that. Um, but, okay, for me and Daniel, like, honestly, we don't argue, like, at all. Like, like, like serious arguments, we, like, don't ever argue or, like, um, we never break up or anything like that. And I don't want to jinx anything, so I'm not going to wood. But, um, just... Like, we, like, I'm not gonna say, we're not the perfect couple, you know, um, like, yeah, like, we're super happy together, but, like, we have, like, our little, like, like, we get annoyed of each other sometimes, and, like, we get, like, it's, like, a normal, like, relationship, you know, but, um, if anything big were to happen, like, I would like to talk about it first before I acted, um, I would just say, like, communication, and also, if sometimes we, like, cling on to things because it's the only thing we have, and, it's the only thing we know and i don't know how to explain it just really think about it like do you really love this person do you really want to be with him um and if it's not worth it if he's making you unhappy then then let go of it you know because sometimes like especially if like the guy's the one like making us go through all this like bullshit and stuff and especially if it's the guy that's like keeps breaking up with us i feel like like we're so dumb and like that makes us want them more because we can't have them if that, if that makes any sense i know it sounds really really dumb but i'm just telling you that from like personal experience but um i would say communicate have a talk with him let him know how you're feeling let him know that you don't want to continue breaking up and getting back together let him if you do truly love him let him know that and if it continues to happen Sorry, someone's calling me. Hello? 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 Someone keeps calling me and just hanging up. It's pissing me off. Um, but let him know. And if it continues to happen, like if you guys keep getting back and breaking up, honestly, just let go of it because... 
I don't know if he's taking it for granted and he and you're saying he's the one that continues breaking up with you um I don't know exactly why you guys are breaking up or like what your issues are but communicate with him let him know and if you do truly really love him let him know and if it continues to happen then let it go um like I said me and Daniel aren't the perfect couple you know but we get along like we love each other and it, like we get annoyed too we get annoyed of each other too but like we kind of just like get over it and it's like when we have like we don't have arguments but we have like disagreements on stuff but it's dumb stuff like he doesn't want me to drink out of his cup because he wants like his full cup of soda or <laughs> I don't know he's so weird or like he um he's saying I'm taking up the whole bed but he's really taking up the whole bed or like he picked up my sweater and he was like I have to clean up with you like 24 7 and I'm just like shut up and then like we kind of both get over it but um good luck with that girl I hope you get it all figured out why did you stop working at subway and how was your experience working there by the way I work there now I'm curious okay so honestly I loved my job at subway like um it was my first job ever but I loved it there um and I feel like I started there like not knowing anything and then I left with like all this knowledge and like it was a good experience I know it's like all oh, subway but like, it was a good experience it, it gave me experience like working with the cash registers working with the POS system working with customers and like by the end like that I was there like like, I was like basically running that store like um obviously I had a manager but like when she wasn't there I was like basically running that store and I was like a little 16 year old stupid girl I was like a little 16 year old manager basically and people didn't like me because some of them were older and they were like I feel like they were kind of like mad that like they weren't like promoted and I was um but I loved my job there. Um, the only reason that I left was because uh, I moved and it was a little bit too far. And then when I had moved to where I live now, um, I applied at the subway there first. And then they didn't hire me. Or, like, they never called me back. Um, and then by the time that um, they had called me back, I already had another job. Um, but I loved, my, I loved my job there. So if it's your job, just like, I, like obviously it's subway, but um, I don't know how to explain it. Just... I don't know I think it's a cool job to have like if you're just starting off or if it's like your first job you know question how do you put up with all these trick ass females who always got bad shit to say by the way love your videos girl like thank you um and girl it's hard sometimes because I, I don't want to sound ignorant and I don't want to suit down to, suit down to their level anymore but like it just sucks because like everyone but like you know I try to think about it like this way like I put myself on the internet so it is what it is it just sucks you know people assume on everything even with my lips too like people get so mad at me that I'm getting more lip fillers but they're my lips you know and see like they look smaller now i don't know why like my lips go from big to small if they're my lips you know if i want to get duck lips or i want to get 10 syringes it's not your lips so you can't tell me anything you know um or i'll literally get girls that'll message daniel telling him how big his dick is and stuff and i'm just like girl what the fuck like they could like because sometimes he'll post pictures and there was this one time where like i i don't know like you could like you couldn't see it but you could like see like that like i don't know you could kind of see like on his shorts like where it was and then this girl was like literally telling him how big his dick was and then daniel is so like he was just like what <laughs> like he doesn't i don't know um but it's just like it's mostly like what mostly bothers me is when they talk about me like if they go and message Daniel, it doesn't bother me as much because like i'm the one that has him you know so it doesn't really matter and I know he's not going anywhere. Um, but it bothers me when they say stuff about, like, my family. Or, like, it bothers me when they, like, ugh, I don't know. Or, like, when people tell me, like, oh, if I ever see you on the streets, I'm going to beat you up. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I have hands, too. Like, I like I can defend myself. Like, it, they, they literally think that, like, they're going to come up to me and just, like, beat my ass. And I'm not going to do anything about it. But, I don't know. I just kind of try to ignore it. Because there's nothing really I can do. Like, um it's not like and, and it's just on the internet you know like they have no life talking crap about me on the internet like none of those people i can guarantee you none of those people um would come up and say that stuff to my face and if they would first i'm gonna clap at them for having the balls and for having the courage to tell me that to my face and then i'm gonna do something about it um but yeah it is what it is i just try to ignore them are your nipples still pierced if so what is your routine on cleaning them and have you changed your jewelry sorry i got mine four weeks ago and i can't wait to change my jewelry by the way i love your videos thank you um and don't change it girl four weeks is like way too little um wait for a piercing they tell you how long to wait but wait as long as you can girl because it sucks when you take it out and it's too early and then it gets infected and like infections are not fun um but no i don't have them pierced anymore just because I didn't want to clean them I didn't want to deal with them so I just took them out but I was cleaning them just with like some um, sea salt solution stuff the H2 ocean which is like one of the best stuff to use on your piercings and then I was using just like the dial soap stuff 
and some water when I was in the in the shower, but I didn't want to keep up with them, so I just took them out. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue doing our makeup, and then we'll answer some more questions at the end. I just really wish I had my setting spray, guys. Like my highlight, like this highlight is good, but it looks so much better. Like it looks ten times better when I like wet my brush first. Baby, are you taking a nap still? Yeah, he's sleeping. Okay, this is a Seattle London um, highlighter in the shade Moon Dust. This doesn't look as good or like as blinding when the brush isn't wet. Like I like it, but with any highlighter, like when you wet your brush a little bit, it looks so much better. It's okay. It looks good still. Just looks a little, not as much. It's okay. We'll go for that natural highlight today. I'm going in with some Great Lash Mascara thing. The Great Lash Mascara is so good to set your brows. I really like it. I've been using it. Oh, shit. Got it on my eye. I've been using it for, like, ever. Awesome. Um, and now, okay, I'll go in with a little bit of my Too Faced Bronzer. And I'm going to add a little bit on my eyes. Just to give them a little, like, definition and a little more, like, of something there. Instead of nothing. I really wish I had my setting spray. Honestly, setting spray makes a big difference, I believe. Not just in the way like that your makeup lasts, but the way that your makeup looks too. Like it kind of makes all the powders come together. Instead of looking like powders. Like I kind of want to go to Ulta and buy. Oh my god, yeah, it makes a huge difference. Okay, I'm going to go in with this brush. Kind of blend it all out. My highlight's not super blinding today. Mm, it's okay. Go in with some blush. This is my Milani in the shade Bellissimo Bronze 06. <sighs> Please tell me I brought a blush brush. And nope, I did not. I thought I brought a brush for my blush. Brush for my blush. That rhymes. Brush for my blush. And I guess I'll use this one then. The one that we were using earlier. Mmm. I love blush. I've always wanted to try the Tarte blushes. And I just recently bought um, one of those big blush books. Oh my god, who's calling me? Watch, they're not even going to answer. Hello? 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 I don't know why people keep calling me and not answering like it's literally so annoying look at this blush it's so beautiful I just wish my highlight was a little more blinding I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do my lashes and um, I don't think I'm gonna do any lips just because I'm going to get my lips done after this so I'm not gonna touch my lips I'll probably exfoliate them a little bit but I'll do that on camera with you guys I'm just gonna go off camera and I'll do my lashes and then I'll come right back I went ahead and did my lashes like I said um and it turned out pretty simple like this look is pretty simple um you guys can't see it that good because of the lighting um I'm not doing lips because I'm about to go get my lips done right now so um what I'm gonna do is I still have to brush my teeth and stuff before I leave the house but I'm gonna take some of this MAC lip scrumptious thing it's just a lip scrub um and i'm just going to exfoliate my lips a little bit then i was taking a nap i don't know if you guys can hear him snoring and then i'm gonna go in with this milani um lip treatment it's just chapstick and i'm gonna add this as well i'm actually gonna add a lot And this is the completed look, you guys. Um, it's just really, really simple. My highlight's pretty simple, too. Um, you guys are going to kill me, but I don't know what lashes these are. They're just... I know they're from Miss Fat Beauty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. We're going to answer a few more questions and, like, um, a few more of my DMs. That way I can answer more of your guys' questions. Because I have a little bit of time before I have to leave the house. Um... 
Hey, I appreciate if you don't see my name in the video, but I'm going through a breakup right now. He said he can't be with me because he needs his space to focus on himself. He's going through a funk. The breakup was random. We were together for a year. Everything was perfect, and I don't know what to do. Would you advise give him space and move on and, and lose hope on us? Um, if you really love him, like I said earlier in the other question, explain to him how you feel. Um, and it pisses me off when guys do that. Like we deserve an explanation they can't just out of nowhere just leave us um but they do you know and there's nothing we can do i would just say don't beg him um if you want talk to him but don't put your life on hold for him don't um don't think that he's gonna come back because in most cases i don't know i don't want to get your hopes down or get you more sad but like i said if you really want to work things out talk to him tell him that you need an explanation like that's not fair that he just left out of nowhere um but don't put your life on hold don't lose hope but don't put your life on hold if something's meant to be it's meant to be and it and it'll happen you know just don't put your life on hold for him if he broke up with you hi lizeth my question is would you ever collab with a much smaller youtuber i also love your chan i absolutely love your channel thank you and um i would collab with a smaller youtuber i don't think it's all about subscribers obviously collabs are supposed to be like a mutual thing to help each other out but um the way i see that is for one obviously i don't want to be used i don't want to feel like i don't want to i don't want to look to like seem that i'm trying to say like on oh, this shit like uh like i don't want to collab with the smaller channel no i would collab with the smaller channel it just depends who it is you know like if i know you personally or if it was like i don't know one of my family members or like if i know you're not just using me for that or like i don't know if it just happened then i would um i get people emailing me all the time like new youtubers that haven't even posted videos and like I don't want to say it's annoying but like it's kind of like not fair for me to collab with someone um smaller because i know i'll help you out a lot and i can help you i could help you out a lot but it's just like i can't collab with one person and then not collab with everybody else because it wouldn't be fair to help one person and not help everybody else but i would collab with a smaller channel it just depends who it is if it's like one of my friends um that i know like really per like that i personally know them and like we hang out all the time and like we film the video then like cool you know um or, I don't know. I've, I have collabed with smaller channels before, though. Um, it just depends who it is, you know. And I don't want to be used just for my subscribers, but... <coughs> oh, that coffee's, like, not sitting well in my stomach. But, yes, I would collab with a smaller channel. I need advice, like, on relationships. I'm 16, and I realize when you're older, obviously, you grow up and relationships change. And guys are obviously going to want to do sexual stuff. But I don't want to be in a relationship that's just about sexual things. If I did decide to do freaky things with my partner, how long should I wait to do freaky stuff if we start, if we just started to date? Um, obviously, if you just got an, if you're just like barely getting into relationships, I would advise that you don't give like your virginity up to just anyone. Um, like honestly, for me, I wish I would have waited. Like, I wish I could have met Daniel so much. Like, like I wish I could have met him like so long ago. But we all make mistakes, you know. We all. Like, I just, like, I wish I just, some like, some of the guys I slept with, like, they didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve me. Oh, my God, someone else is calling me. Anyways, yeah, I would just, like, honestly, from my personal experience and a lot of people that I know, like, a lot of the girls that I know, um, a lot of us do wish, like, we would have waited to do a lot of stuff. So, just make sure if you, okay, it depends how you are, though, because everybody's different. Like, some people can, like, just sleep around and it doesn't, like, affect them, like, emotionally. Like, because if I did that, like, it would just, like, mess me up in the brain, but, um, because i'm such an emotional person like i would I, I don't know i just wouldn't be able to do that but if you want to do that and you'll be okay with it just be safe you know be safe with it but i would say there there's not like a time limit to wait but for me i would say just wait until you know like you want to be with this person um and if you want to just have fun just be safe with it but you don't if you're in a relationship and you feel like it's all about like sexual then i don't know if it's the right relationship because i've been in relationships like that where like all i want to do is get sexual and i'm like can you just leave me alone um okay uh but just be careful especially if you're young and it's your first relationship or whatever my significant other and I have been together for more than a year now. There's just one problem. He never asked me out officially. For a while, I didn't bring it up to him. But when I finally did, I told him I wanted to make uh, to officially make it official. 
with me because I would feel more respected by him. He responded with, I'll keep it in mind and that, that he wanted me to get into more things he likes. For example, music, food, and then he would be crazy about me and he would want to make it official. I have no idea what to do. I don't want to bring it up anymore because I'm scared he will be upset. And yeah, does it make sense what I told him that I want to make it official? The respect aspect or am I dumb? No, dude, you're not dumb. Um, I feel like, I feel like honestly he's putting it off. Um, and... I'm guessing you guys have already like slept together and stuff like I'm just guessing you know maybe you guys haven't but um, I'm what I can see from like what you're telling me is he's just kind of putting it off you know and it sucks when you're in a situation like that where like um, it just sucks when you're in a situation like that because like especially if you already slept with him like it's just like if you guys like stop talking off you guys break up now it's like it sucks because you already kind of gave up what he wanted in a sense so it's just like I don't know it's just like if, if you guys end it now like it's gonna be like really hard on you but don't honestly if I were if I were you I would probably stick around because I'm stupid but my advice to you is don't stick around for it if he's not gonna make it official and just talk to him and he and if if he if all he's doing is wasting your time dude like you shouldn't stick around for that and just learn from your mistakes this time and don't do it again like don't i don't know how to explain it like it's okay if you sleep with someone or if it's like it's okay if you're like um with someone and you guys aren't like officially together like that's totally fine but if you're not okay with it with and what i'm getting at is that is that you're not okay with that like you want to be like officially together because it, it it does make you feel like you're more respected you know um but if I honestly feel like he's putting it off and if he if you have a talk with him and let him know that and he continues doing that then honestly I would just let it go because some sometimes like in these kind of cases like cases in these kind of cases what the hell am I talking about in these kind of like situations like he could have other girls on the side you know and like you won't like you can't really tell him anything because you're not officially his girlfriend and like it sucks it's like an awkward situation with like when you're with someone and then like you guys aren't officially together and someone asks you like oh are you guys together but like you guys aren't so you can't say that you are but like you feel like you guys are i don't know i would just like that's hard but like i would just talk it out with him and if i feel like you can't talk it out with none of these guys though i feel like they're still gonna be like what but like what do you mean but if you feel like he's wasting your time which honestly that's kind of what i'm getting from what you're telling me is i would just get out of it and learn from your mistakes and don't make the same mistakes you made with him with someone else oh my god hey girl i love your videos i need advice on something i don't know what to think okay so my ex-boyfriend or boyfriend i don't even know anymore of nine months got deported a month ago or so but he said the only way he was going to come back was if a friend of his lend him some money well it turns out his friend was a female that was going to lend him the money but in exchange she was going to live with her until he paid her back he had been living in a in living with her in la and he calls me sometimes and tells me he will be back in my town in about two months i don't know if i should wait for him or not the whole story is so fishy to me yet again i hear in his voice how sincere he is about everything my question is what would you do honestly i would not let my man live with another girl like what kind of condition is that if like you have to live with them until you pay them back like that's not like a that's not a deal you know um that is really fishy um i don't know dude i don't know what to tell you i wouldn't i wouldn't i would let him know that he cannot live with her and if he's not like okay with it then i don't know i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't know what to tell you but I would just really be careful because that does seem really fishy and like what just makes no sense i'm sorry i don't know what to tell you but just be really careful and if you feel like he's being dishonest then he most likely is advice on long-term relationship breakup how to get over that person you spent so many memories with um i feel like now i'm at a point where like if something were to end like or if something happens like it is what it is and i just like i feel like for so long i've like held on to people because like i feel like I don't know i felt like it was the only thing i had to i don't know i don't know how to explain it just don't hold on to people if they want to walk out of your life don't hold on to them i know it's hard and i know it's harder i know it's easier said than done but don't another thing don't look look back at memories don't if you guys have pictures together delete everything and and surround it like I, i've told you guys this so many times but surround yourself with positive people and don't like isolate yourself like don't lock yourself in your room and like get all depressed and stuff because I don't know like just don't 
if you're already like in a hole kind of like think of it about it like this if you're already like in a hole or like in like a bad situation don't sink yourself more uh, da -da 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 -da. Hi Lizeth, I watch all your videos, you are beautiful, and I would love if you can talk about how to have your backgrounds and where you get the backgrounds. So my backgrounds are just paper, um, I got them off of Amazon, it's literally just paper, it's nothing too fancy, and before I used to use like cloth from like, um, from Walmart and stuff, so I don't use anything like crazy or like anything super professional. Hey Liz, I really really need some advice right now, what should I do? Please please answer me, long story, sh long story short, but short, so like I was talking to some guy and he was leaving to mexico for two months and before the guy i was talking to i sneaked out of my house to go see him and stuff so i went to his house we kind of messed around but when he was in mexico he only called me once and never hit me up ever since he was in mexico so like i haven't seen him since i went to his house before he went to mexico so like ever since he went to mexico i didn't see him until now Recently, the past Saturday, I seen him, and it was really awkward because he never told me he came back from Mexico, and it was really awkward seeing him because we messed around, and I don't know if I should hit him up or just don't even bother to message him because I always messaged him the same that same night when I seen him, but he never answered my text. I even messaged him that same night. I can tell you from personal experience, I think he's just like, you know, trying to mess around, but if he wanted something more serious, he would have probably already, like, tried to pursue something more serious. I don't know. I feel like this guy's just trying to mess around, so just be careful. And no, don't message him anymore. Hey, this is for your video question. How do you make your foundation stay on throughout the whole day? Also, how do you make your foundation look so flawless and glowy? By the way, I love you so much. Um, glowy, it's because I use like dewy foundations. I use a lot, like a lot of moisturizer, and I use a ton of highlight. And then um, I let my I use to make my foundation last longer. I'm um, I use primers, setting sprays. Um, I apply it like evenly like i don't know how to explain it but thank you so much i love you too i just started my youtube channel and what should you do if you haven't posted but you really want to but you don't know what to post about by the way i love your youtube channel thank you um post whatever dude like i literally post whatever if i don't know what to post like i'll literally post a video of me eating just post whatever you want Love your makeup skills, but I just wanted to know how was it when you first got your braces? I'll be getting my braces soon, and I'm kind of excited slash nervous. Um, the first, like, two weeks, like, it really hurt, honestly. Like, I couldn't really eat well, but I think it's worth it. Like, I saw a difference right away, so good luck with your braces, and thank you. How do you stay motivated and not give up on YouTube since it's a lot of work and effort and hate? By the way, I love you and your relationship with Daniel is actual goals. Thank you, I love you too. Um, and I stay motivated because I have you guys, you know, like I can't just like, like there's been times where like, not now, but like there's been times where I just want to give up on everything, but I'm just like, oh, well if I give up, like what are they going to think? Like, like, like I can't just leave and not give an explanation. Like I just can't do that. What's your main focus right now in your life? By the way, I love you so much. I love you too. And my main focus is kind of like just on myself, on growing and like, I don't know, just focusing on myself. And obviously like I have Daniel, so I'm like focused on us too, but like we're good. Hey, I wanted to know what side do you have your nose pierced and you should do Daniel's makeup. I want to do it again. I have done his makeup before, so if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked down below. But I want to do it again, but he doesn't really want to. And my nose is pierced on my right side. For your Q&A video, hey girl, I'm so I'm really interested in starting up my YouTube channel, but I really don't know how would you recommend as what you would you recommend as first video ideas and how to get started because it really is something i want to do also i love you so much girl hope you can get to my question i love you too and um i would say if you want to do makeup you can start with like a makeup tutorial but make it like a chatty so like they can get to know your personality i feel like those like my first introduction to my youtube channel are kind of like whack now everyone does that so just i would say if you're gonna do makeup um do like a chatty get ready with me so they get a little more of your personality personality or do like a vlog so they get a little more something that they can get a little of your, like your personality and they can get to know you a little bit but good luck with that help me convince my mother to let my to let me sleep over at my boyfriend's house some some advice for that will come in handy girl dude honestly okay for me it was like when i started saying when i had daniels okay when i had met daniel i didn't ask for okay well i still asked permission but i kind of was like do i i did whatever i wanted but i would still ask because i wanted my dad to feel like i don't know like he was still respected and like his he was still the authority figure and so i would ask but i couldn't ask him to stay out until like three in the morning playing beer pong so i would ask i would be like hey can we go to the movies because we would go to the movies or something or we would go do whatever go to dinner and then we would go like to um 
and then we would go um and play like beer pong and stuff or like hang out like all night and my dad would text me at first like calling me hey you stupid donde estás? and he would blow up my phone and i just wouldn't reply and then i learned to put him on do not disturb and then i just would kind of ignore him and i would come home and he would kind of yell at me a little bit but that was it and then i feel like after i turned 18 he kind of got over it and sometimes here and there if i'm not home for like a week he'll be like hey how are you and i'm like i'm good but like he just kind of got over it i just kind of stopped asking because i was like look i'm grown now i pay for all my stuff um you can't really tell me what to do anymore and i don't mean that in like a disrespectful way but i don't go to the house and disrespect like our house or my parents house you know so i don't know i can't really help you out there i don't know how your mom is girl um what's your favorite product when doing natural brows um soap soap and like brow gel you leave me alone let me feel I'm gonna answer a couple more questions because we have to leave the house soon. First of all, I love you so much. My question for you is what is something you love about yourself and why? Also, can you say hi to me in your video? Hi, um, hi to shout out to Jacqueline or Jacqueline. Jacqueline, I hope I'm saying your name right, but hi and um something I love about myself is like my brows. My brows or um just my brows probably. Probably just my brows. Um and I love you too. Do the long ass makeup tours. I live for those. Filming one right now, girl. That is all the questions that I'm gonna answer. I think that's most of the questions answered. If if I if if not, I probably missed like a couple or a few. So I'm so sorry if I missed your question. But please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. I loved filming this video, you guys. Like I loved doing my makeup and talking to you guys. And I loved like the the way it was so chilled back and then like answering some questions, giving you guys some advice and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe down below. It would mean so much if you guys subscribed. Turn on your notifications. Share this video. Um, Like this video. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.